Scorpio. Welcome to your love reading. This is a no contact reading. So for my dear Scorpios who are not in contact with um, a person that's quite significant to you, means a lot to you, uh, could be somebody that you've dated in the past and you things didn't work out, therefore you're not in touch with them. Or it could just simply be some could simply be somebody that you're interested in, but perhaps you know for whatever reason you're not in touch with this person. Oh, look at that! The split. We've got the two of cups and the three of wands. Somebody at a distance, maybe. I don't know. But predominantly, this is a no contact reading. So for people who are not in touch with their person, and you're curious to tap into their energy and see what are their thoughts, emotions, and desired outcome with you. So before I get into that, let me just see. Show me the past. On this connection the past energy on this connection okay yep five of cups expected that two of wands so I don't read reversals but I read intuitively hmm okay could be dealing with an Aquarius hmm could be like distance was an issue there is some disappointment of course like something didn't work out in this connection and that left you feeling very sad um yeah and i i don't know if i don't know if the door is fully closed because somehow when i see the two of wands i always get this feeling that maybe things can still work out and that final final decision hasn't been made and i i guess that's the reason why you're here watching this reading um even though you're not in contact with your person you probably feel energetically connected to them show me more show me show me more yeah okay that just kind of flew and fell over there maybe it was long distance and that led to some confusion or there wasn't the right level or the right nature of communication when it came to this connection and that was a big challenge uh, is what i'm picking up on two of wands yeah things were out of balance like i think one person was giving too much and the other person wasn't giving enough king of swords the moon and somebody, I feel like your person um, is probably somebody who has a lot of fears about emotions, about relationships, about getting fully, fully committed. Uh, maybe they just got overwhelmed with the emotion and their fears got the better of them. That's the energy from the past. And I feel like that is what has led to this uh, connection not working out. And that has created this no contact situation. But someone's hopeful for a new beginning with the fool card or i think there is potential for a new beginning okay mm, i spilled let's build on this what is the current energy between scorpio and this person so obviously i mean you know this is like energetically what is happening between you and them i'm conscious of the fact that you're not in contact with this person so what is the energy between you and your person right now the world card yeah Something's come to an end. Something's come to a full cycle. A cycle has closed out. Okay, show me more. Six of Cups and the Moon. So both of you miss each other. I think this definitely felt like a very significant soulmate kind of connection here with the Six of Cups showing up in the Moon. I think emotions ran pretty deep here. But something had to come to a close or this cycle had to come to a close. Um... Because somebody here, and I feel this is not you, This I'm picking up this is more your person, had a lot of fears or they got very overwhelmed by the emotion of it all. Okay, show me more on the world, the moon and the six of cups, please. The world, page of cups, the moon, mm, five of pentacles and the six of cups, the wheel of fortune. Hmm. So the present energy between you and your person, I feel like, somebody owes someone an apology or you know i think somebody needs to grow up a little bit in this connection is what i'm picking up on like the cycle needs to come to an end of being very juvenile about this connection like somebody needs to you know pull their weight like somebody needs to just you know come out of this feeling of lack or somebody felt not good enough for the other person and there's this sense of lack and okay here's what i'm hearing uh, thank you spirit team so they're saying that somebody had to exit the situation because they were worried that you would leave them any which way um so before you could kind of you know pull the trigger on that they exited the situation but there is potential for a for a reconciliation i think but it needs time 
because something needs to be hailed out something needs to be worked through before this connection can come back around but let's get into this and see what are the future energies between scorpio and their person future energies ten of wands a lot of completions kind of showing up seven of wands five of pentacles okay tower at the bottom of the deck okay let's get clarifiers show me more on the ten of wands seven of wands five of pentacles what is the future potential between scorpio and their person ten of wands the emperor seven of wands mm. ace of swords five of pentacles the four of cups and we've got ten of wands again at the bottom of this deck as well someone is i think in the future someone whosoever in this connection was being very stubborn about not acknowledging their feelings and was kind of behaving like an emperor you know the emperor energy is more about being in your rational cognitive space and not so much in the emotional space like the emperor energy is not very comfortable talking about emotions feelings all of that somebody needs to close the cycle of being that stubborn about not opening up to what they truly feel and the truth has to be communicated i think because you scorpio i don't know why i'm getting this energy that you are kind of in your own bubble you're living your life you're doing you you know like you maybe are manifesting meditating trying to heal through this um period of separation you've been doing some serious thinking about this connection its potential what do you want to do with it in the future um so there needs to be a communication around that and i think there is potential for a very clear communication around that in the near future because this thing of constantly focusing on the lack or what's not working in this connection is the hindrance so somebody needs to start to close out the cycle of always expecting it to not work out or expecting things to not work out so i think some clear conversations have to be had for this connection to have another shot um but let's see your person's energy actually before we go here let me get this deck i want to see your person's thoughts feelings and the outcome that they ooh, sorry that was a very bad shot uh the outcome that they desire with you so scorpio's person what are their thoughts emotions and desired outcome with scorpio scorpio's person what are their thoughts on this connection four of pentacles yeah see someone's still holding back uh, or someone's holding on to this too tight what are their emotions or feelings for you two of wands and what is the outcome that they desire with you hmm why the five of swords why the five of swords oh wow why the four of cups the emperor see there you go like this person i think is very very stubborn and they're very up in their head and they refuse to acknowledge their feelings or emotions on the situation their thoughts are that they're going to continue to hold back okay they're just like well why should i make a move or why should i reach out to scorpio like you know maybe if scorpio reaches out we'll see cuz they're still not supremely clear as to what they feel about you scorpio that's what i'm seeing and that's why they're not clear on how they want to move forward with you there's this internal conflict they've probably been in this contemplation mode like a bit too long they they just keep thinking and mulling over this connection um and they're just still very stubborn on their stance like you know like they want things to be a certain way and they're kind of holding on to that approach i don't think they're going to budge anytime soon Okay, what do they want you to know energetically? What do they want you to know energetically? What do they want you to know? I can't do this. Okay, yeah. So see, I think this is just somebody who's got a very fixed mindset and they've already kind of decided that okay, nah, okay, if if things don't shift or if Scorpio doesn't do XYZ, then no, it doesn't work for me. They're not showing a lot of flexibility. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Exactly. Did I just say that that I think there's somebody who left you before you could leave them? I think there's so they do have a lot of feelings for you they do have a lot of emotion for you and that's why they do acknowledge they probably will never ever tell you but it was very hard for them to let you go 
uh, but they're also very fixed in their ways and they want it to be a certain way okay but they also have this hope that they would like to start over with you bottom of the deck says i saved your texts and messages so here's the deal here's the dealio scorpio i think you're dealing with someone who wants you has a lot of you know affection emotion for you but is not very comfortable working in that space of emotions feelings all of that so they think that oh this is too much this is too overwhelming i can't do this but then they're also like almost like lying to themselves like they know that they feel a lot for you and it was very hard for them to kind of walk out of this connection um and some part of them does hope to like start over but I think this is a very stubborn person, Scorpio. So I think maybe if you were to reach out, like if, if that feels right to you, uh, this connection might have a shot. But I'm not sensing that, um, at least in this particular moment, that they're looking forward to reaching out or they don't know how to go about it. Let's see what the romance angels have for you on this connection. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. See, this is that Ace of Swords energy something needs to be said like i think someone needs to be more vulnerable be more open and i think this is your person and they probably know it deep down but they're just kind of hoping that they don't have to kind of get into this uncomfortable conversation where they have to be all open about their emotions wedding Ooh, the situation involves marriage i don't know if you were married to this person i'm not picking up on that i think maybe the situation came to a grinding halt because somebody expected to take it to this level of commitment eventually, you know, which is getting married, going the whole way, sort of, to say. And maybe that was very overwhelming for this person. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So I think, Scorpio, and I think I picked up on this energy in a previous reading for you as well, they were probably very attracted to your playful side and, you know, like... Uh, maybe you guys had a lot of fun conversations when you first got to know this person and then obviously you know as feelings started to mature you were expecting them to kind of up their game and, and take this commitment to the next level which i think overwhelmed them and then they kind of bolted because they're not somebody who's very comfortable thinking about like serious matters you know let's just put it like that about oh where is this relationship going or like do you want to be married like maybe you guys even had a slightly intense conversation and that kind of expedited their exit out of this hmm okay um i'm curious i want to see what will be this person's next steps towards scorpio if any you know but let's see what will be this person's next steps or actions towards Scorpio? Six of Wands, okay, that's good, that's good. What else? Queen of Cups, okay. Hmm, that energy really shifted, huh? Whoa, oh my God. I wasn't expecting that at all. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Nine of Cups. Okay, this is a very confused person or look look they have a lot of love for you they feel like you're their person you're uh, their soulmate and they want victory with you so i asked what will be their next steps i have a feeling scorpio that um maybe there's something about your work where you get recognized or maybe you do something online like they're gonna be in that surrounding energy and maybe make an appearance and want to kind of start to become more comfortable with how they feel about you and their emotions because ultimately they see you as the one for them wow this energy really shifted hmm very interesting so i think this is somebody who's just very uncomfortable with how deeply they feel for you and they're trying to figure out how they can get success in this connection so let's ask what's holding them back or what's held them back so far why have they not reached out so far? What's held them back? Work, maybe work, maybe family, pressures, justice. I don't know if this person is already married and they're waiting for their divorce or something to come through so that they can finally make a bold move towards you. Or maybe they just have a lot of demands on their time when it comes to work, their family. Um, maybe they're dealing with something legal page of cups maybe children are involved yeah i feel this person is trying to strategize as to how to come in and that's why they've held back because 
they've just got a lot going on and they've tried to figure out how to come towards you and and like say their piece or they've also taken the time to figure out what is it that they truly want because if you remember in the beginning they were showing us kind of like confused energies with the four of cups the five of pentacles expecting things to not work out hmm okay let's uh let's see if the lover's oracle has some guidance for you so what is your guidance for scorpio what do you want scorpio to see about this person and this connection okay i'm feeling this one time you are trying too hard give it time yep so give it time scorpio that's uh pretty straightforward right there i think they need some time to come to this understanding that you actually are the person for them and this connection is beautiful it looks like a soulmate connection but i think because of them not pulling enough weight or not having clear communications or setting the right expectations maybe things didn't work out um so you got to give it time i think this connection can come back into balance we'll just pull you one more before we close out the reading one more and oops wow sexual union honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss oh i think this person is coming back it's going to be a passionate new beginning so that's what i have for you scorpio um let me know if this video resonated and uh, please leave me a comment like the video and subscribe to my channel take care bye bye